Hello everybody, my name is Gary and welcome back to Subnautica. I love this game so much. Today I wanted to continue the story. In the last video, all we did was really just um, build further and uh, we didn't really do much. So that's, I wanna, I wanna go explore. Maybe go to the Degasi habitat, maybe go to the alien base or maybe even go to the Aurora. I haven't decided yet. My buddy Reginald, how you doing? We still need to get Reginald some some uh, help so that he doesn't have to do any of the work, you know? We also need to figure out the power issue because ever since I built the uh, water filtration systems, we are out of... Where is it? We're out of power everywhere. So either we need to make another bioreactor, or is that what they're called? Yeah, bioreactor, or if we do end up go, okay, we might go, we might go to the Aurora today because the Aurora has nuclear reactor fragments. So then we can make the, maybe, I don't, I actually don't know what you need to make any of the stuff for the nuclear reactor. So we could end up making that and that would help with power a lot. Let's do that. Let's go to the Aurora. Why not? We need the propulsion cannon. Dang it. And I can't use the fabricator. <laughs> oh. Welcome aboard, Captain. Looks like we're going back to the life pod. What did I name the life pod again? Lanetta. Lorianetta. Mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm, great. Lawrence. That's going to be your name. I will definitely forget that b before the next episode. But that's what we're going with th for this episode. At least I still remember Suzy. You guys got to give me some credit. Do we even have all of the propulsion? I didn't even need to go all the way over here. I'm an idiot. No, we don't have the propulsion cannon. Where do you get propulsion cannon fragments? Let's just go over to life pod 12, because I think this is in the bulb forest or something like that. It has the electro -y guys. Where they're just full of electricity. So let's go over there. We haven't explored over there. We can go over there anyways. I said there 15 times. I don't know what ones I've explored and which ones I haven't. This one looks too square for me to have explored. Open sesame. Just kidding, it's not ready yet, but soon it will be. And then my open sesame will make sense. It just doesn't make sense at the moment, you see. Um, because the door isn't open, but in two seconds, a C makes perfect sense to me. What? That was fast. already found some I don't want laser cutter but we'll take it for the titanium I can't see it's so dark meters oxygen efficiency decreased or 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 we could not do that because I kind of need my oxygen what's the point of going down here There was literally no point. Maybe? Oh, there is a point. I'm just dumb. No. Give me items that I don't have yet. It's power cell charger fragments. Anything. That works. It heard my pleas and gave me what I needed. Acquired. There's one right here, too. My, you know, I didn't see it. That's pretty awkward. Even if we do end up going back to the base, we can't make the propulsion cannon. But that's where all of our stuff is. Okay, what do you need to make it? Wiring kit, battery, and titanium. I think we have a two silver in the lockers. So let's head back. We'll grab the silver and the, wi or the stuff for the wiring kit and battery. And then we'll come over to... I already forgot. Um, Lawrence. I'm sure. 
I'm so bad at this game. I have the brain capacity of a peanut. I don't know which one was for titanium again. I already forgot. What am I doing with my life? I think this one's titanium and I just don't have any. We need one. We need two. Aw. That was both of our silver. What do you need to make a battery again? Copper and two acid mushrooms. Okay. We don't have copper. Oh, yes, we do. Never mind. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm just a big liar. Okay, Lawrence, I'm on my way. I'm here, my old buddy. I think it was here last episode, too, but I just miss you so much. You're just my best friend. You're the only one for me, buddy. The only one. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I need to get a new hobby. <laughs> Let's put the rebreather right there in here for a while. Because we just won't need it for while we're at the Aurora. Let's first go over here. So we need to be careful. There are reapers um, around, the, around the Aurora. So we have to be careful about them. But behind, over by these engines, there are a bunch of Cyclops fragments. I think they're bridge fragments. So those will help us out. And I also think this is where the nuclear reactor fragments are. But I could be very, very wrong. This is scary. This is giving me anxiety. Maybe we should also build a scanner room over here somewhere. That's Reaper. That's a Reaper. It's okay, I'm hidden. I am in a cavern. Hey, that's an engine fragment. We need three more. Unfortunate. Okay, let's leave the sea moth right there for a moment. Because I'm not... I don't really want to lose it and have to rebuild it. That just doesn't seem like a good time. Instead, we'll just be a sneaky snake. Maybe cry. I might end up crying, let's be honest here. If I see a reaper, or if I see its tail, and it is coming towards us, I will lose it. Of course it died. Why wouldn't it die at this very moment? What don't I need? Um, the builder at the moment. <gasps> no! No! Ow! Owie, 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 owie! <laughs> go! Go fast! Go fast! Go fast, 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 fast! That was unnecessary! I saw fragments too right before it died. You just want to stay away for just a little bit? I saw fragments. You're gigantic. No. No! No! Please no! Please no! Please no! It's huge. Okay, you know what, Suzy? We're gonna go ahead and just risk your life. It's not worth mine. <laughs> it's less than mine, Suzy. But I'm gonna take the the upgrades out because I don't really want to lose those. This is the scariest moment of my life. Why is it so fast? It's also. Uh, that really scared me. It's also really disorienting because I don't know if it's uh, like above me or behind me or in front or where it is like that. I want that. Was that a power cell? No, 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 no. I'm tense! I'm so tense right now. <laughs> I'm scared. Can't we grab it with the propulsion cannon? Also, 
We have the stasis rifle. What am I doing with my life? I know what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna we're just gonna stun him. Get out of here! It didn't work, I missed. It's okay, if he comes close, we'll just stun him with a small one and then get the big one. Come on, let's go. You don't stand a chance now. You don't scare me. Okay, you kind of scare me. I take it back. Back off, Satan! No! <laughs> That was too close for comfort. I win. You lose. Loser. <laughs> I talk a big talk for somebody who's actually really terrified. Is there another one? I'm going to end up stumbling with the... Should we go get Sahuzi now? Form readings in this region are sparse. Ah! Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Good, kill the reapers. <laughs> Too close. Let's go get Sahuzi and head to the other side of the Aurora. They're just so big and scary. And for what reason? Why do you, what is your purpose in life? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Sahuzi. Sorry, Sahuzi, I'm sorry. I have a feeling you're gonna get bit at least once. So, also, I don't like that. Why do I keep getting in sideways? Okay, let's first, I have a plan. Let's first find him. It's also really hard to see in this water. Let's first find him, stun him, then get back in, and then drive away real quick. Hey, you. Let's go. Nope, it didn't work. Ah! Okay, go, Suhuzi. Or, well, you're not a Suhuzi. You're a Suhuzi. Go. I think there's more on the other side of the Aurora, though, so... We're not escaping them just yet. We're just kind of getting away from them. I think I'm on the other side of it. Everybody look for what looks like nuclear reactor fragments. There's another one. I don't know where it is. They're stalkers. There he is. Please nobody attack my Sahuzi. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, you know what? This is just a dangerous game. Let's just go plug up the radiation. And that way we can, uh... Where is it? So that we can use the, uh... Okay, you get away from my Sahuzi. so that we can use the rebreather. Okay, listen, I know you're mad at me. I know I stunned you, but we can we can get past that, right? We can be friends. Please leave me alone. I'm sorry I disturbed your peace. But in my defense, I need nuclear reactor fragments. And I was told that they were around here. Maybe not, maybe I'm lying to myself. Don't mind me. I said don't mind me. We can all be friends. There's no reason to be so angry. Okay, no, there's nothing over there. I thought I saw some uh, thingies to open. Some chest thingies? 
Hey, you. No! You know what? You wanna fight? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna fight. Let's go! Let's go! Who else wants to go? Come here! Also, can you stop biting me? It's kind of really rude. This is where the propulsion cannon comes into play. This is the fun part. Are you ready? I really wish I could see a reaper from here. I would shoot this at them so quickly. Oh, it didn't go as far as I thought it would. I'm disappointed. My life has been ruined. There is nothing to look forward to anymore. Ow! I threw the table at myself like an idiot. Knock, knock. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Nope. Because there's no way for us to get out. Or get up. There we go. We got dialogue now. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. That's okay. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Cut to me screaming because there's a reaper trying to eat me. Come here. We're gonna fight. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms of human tissues. Mm-hmm. These little munchkin monsters ate all of my friends. So we're getting payback. Your life is payment enough. But also, if you have some diamonds, I would appreciate it. Hello? Is anybody home? If there's any alien creatures aboard, we can be friends. There were propulsion cannon fragments here. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Integrating new PDA data. What do you have to say? Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley. Install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. <laughs> Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieve. I knew I was Thank missing you. something. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Is it really that boring on this gigantic ship? I feel like there's so much to do. So much to do, so much to see. Even though I can't see a thing, because this game is very dark. <gasps> Ow! <gasps> My glankles. I never got this. Oh, I think it's up here. There's a whole room that we missed. So what I was looking for was I was looking for the fire extinguisher, which is why I went back outside. Because I knew that we were supposed to get one to um, get rid of these fires. So that we can go in rooms like this. Thank you. Um, 15, 4, 54. Notes to self. So here we are finally in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources. It's very hard to read whenever it's shaking. To build more expensive ships to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? 1806, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that. Anyways, 15, 1454. That's mine. I need a backpack. Can I have a backpack? Altera launches the Aurora. Phase gate announced for the Aradne arm. Altera launches the Aurora. The furthest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand as Altera Corp launches a newly constructed capital ship carrying a phase gate bound for the Aradne arm. 
The Aurora will travel from a space dock on the edge of Altera space, making hundreds of consecutive phase gate jumps through nine different transgov authorities and arrive on the far side of the Aradne arm in three months' time. From there, the command crew will pilot the ship beyond the final phase gate, arriving in the next solar system approximately 18 months later. There, the elite team of engineers will begin a six-month construction project on the new phase gate, a multi-trillion dollar or trillion credit investment in the absence of existing infrastructure in the region. The vessel is equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power facilities. Altera Corp currently operates 9% of all phase gates in the galaxy. If the Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will have out maneuvered a cabal of Ma Mongolian corporations operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. I have no idea what I just read. I am very confused. What are you? I want a battery. I actually really don't. I have like 15 now. Hey, don't come oh. back. Ow, ow, ow. That it? Okay. I've already got it. What it was? 1454? Sure. Let's try that. Because I'm too lazy to find the thing again. Fourteen fifty-four. Yes. Guns of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. This room is very loud. It helps that I'm a genius with the size, with the brain size, the size of a elephant. Just kidding. You guys are always the angry. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, I don't want to. One of the largest suppliers of space-faring technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation, the official supplier of the TSF, consistently ranked among the galaxy's best employers, began life as a defense ma manufacturer in the mid-22nd se century. National motto, get what you deserve. Although most transgovs can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera literally meaning by Earth is the only one brazen enough to take its name. During the expansion, Altera supplied arms to all sides, acquiring and housing a vast colony, colonist workforce and making the trans transition from manufacturer to corporate state. Altera's threat to cease trade was one of the turning points in the, con the conflict, bringing about the end of hostilities and the signing of the Charter. Free enterprise within Altera space is encouraged, but competition is tight and all goods exported offward off-world must be Altera branded. Profitable businesses are brought out by the state, owners ascending to the board of directors. Well-known Altera technologies like the Cyclops submersible originated with such private enterprises. Despite superficial similarities to national governments, the corporate's law lawyers, I cannot read today, I'm so sorry, have always maintained that it has been, that it has no legal obligations to its employees, but voluntarily elects to to take on the roles usually served by a dem democratically elected government. This claim has not yet been tested in Federation courts. I cannot read to save my life today. I'm reading at like a third grade level. What is going on? I need help. No, don't give me that now. I'm on the ship of dreams. Isn't that what the Titanic was called? Any other special, special things for me? No? Boring stuff? Okay, great. Love that. I definitely feel like I'm missing something. Oh, well. I can get bit in this area by those things. You monster munchkins. I have a thing for that. Don't even worry about it. I'm gonna get this ship in space again. All by myself. This is the Sea Moth Bay. Nobody needs to help me. It's fine. Ew. Okay, I'm not reading that. That just looks like a bunch of um, random stuff. I would also don't want more Sea Moth fragments. There's an upgrade here. MK1. Aww, I built that. <laughs> A waste of my time. Okay. 
this ship will fly again, just you wait. With my professional expertise in, um, cutting holes in doors, I'm gonna get this thing afloating again. This is gonna be my new Cyclops. We might have to make two trips, or another trip back here, because I, we're, our inventory is almost full, and I don't think we're gonna be able to pick up everything. Even if I try and limit just to the stuff that we need. From Huggins, Integrating Jim Wilson. Data. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside? Well, now you're only gone and gotten yourself... You've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking... I don't know why, but that word just... That word spelled out looks so weird. Robot suit. We've plain got nothing to do till we get star side to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars? You've only got to say my spare prawn suit's got your name on it. Wow, I read that horribly. You want to taste the stars? You've only got to say my spare prawn suit's got your name on it. You don't, uh, uh, you don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily mechanically augmented hands. Want to play catch with a passing meteor? Come by cabin number one, codes 1869. A passing meteor? That seems uh, dangerous, but very fun. Can I join? We could be friends. No! New PDA data. I don't want to read more. Mission, search and rescue. Target, crew of the Mongolian vessel, Degasi. Last known position, vicinity of planet 4546B, Aradni Arm. Contact, Mongolian emissary, Jockey Kassar. J Aurora passenger quarters. Mission brief, a Mongolian vessel, the Degasi, disappeared almost a decade ago, carrying with its high-ranking Mongolian chief. With it, a high-ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate insurance has purchased passage aboard the Aurora for Emissary Kassar. Uh, and your orders are to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degasi crew members without compromising the primary mission. Confirming the fate of the crew will aid Altera's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian councils. Mission details. Aurora is due to perform a slingshot maneuver around 4546B Category 3 Ocean Planet approximately 13 months post-launch. How, how big can a planet get? Or like category-wise, because it's a category three ocean planet, can get, get to like category seven or something? This will bring the ship within range of the Degasi's last known position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in the Aurora's cargo package for this mission. Degasi crew manifesto has been distributed, distributed to senior employees in a separate message. Wow, that's pretty rude. I feel like that's a little bit of, um, just rudeness to not give the lower level employees the the whole what's going on, you know? Piran suit, sure. Nope! We're heading back. There's a whole area down here that we haven't explored yet. Drive room. I think this is where the uh the radiation is leaking from. The drive core shielding. Yep. Ow, 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 ow. Well, my qualifications are I am the only one that can do this because everybody else is dead. So, looks like I am the only one for the job. Sorry, Karen. Um, I forgot what your name was. Engine efficiency rag or module. Print acquired. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. I'm Contain working on it. Repaired. Further breaches detected. The Aurora's drive core is shielded by a thick metal shell which breached in multiple multiple locations shortly after the crash. Once breached, it will continue to leak radiation into the surrounding environment until the breaches are sealed. After the point, the radiation in the envi environment will dissipate over time. This procedure should only be attempted with appropriate radiation protection and a fully charged repair tool. Well, it's not fully repair or charged, but it will do the job. Also, let me just look how huge this area is and it goes under that is gigantic anyways don't mind me i'm just gonna dive down deep repair the whole place because i am the only talented one 
Don't even worry about it. I'm the only professional on this planet left. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Have they actually added a thing where if you don't do all of this, then uh, something actually happens to the environment? I don't know, but I kind of want something to happen to those Reapers. They're abusive. Hello. That was rude. That also really scared me. I thought I, because I was talking bad about the Reapers, one had gotten in and just munched on me. Containment breach repaired. I am Further no snack. Go away! Further breaches detected. Wait, I can scan you, can't I? Nope, I already scanned you. Never mind. These are the last two. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Go away! You're just abusive! That's loud and scary. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. I am your hero! Is there anything in that one? I want to see. Get up. Get up! And jump. No, I came over here for nothing. A waste of my time and effort. Now we can continue on. Should we go clear out our inventory first? Nah. Who cares about inventory management, you silly? I got this. I know. I I I'm very good at my job. I'm the only one for the for the for the job. Mm -hmm. Yep, English. I think you can actually get up in that area. Or I saw a video or something where somebody glitched up there. It was pretty great, pretty magnificent, if you ask me. Prawn suit. You're mine now. I need four more. Or three more, sorry. The faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. What? Oh, black box. That's what the thing is for... Uh, like what you... you the thing that I got... Mm, I'll, I'll just show you, because English is definitely not my forte. First, I want to have some fun shooting these. It's the only thing that brings me joy at this moment in life. Come on. No. Okay. Fine. We can play... Why? There's so many new radio signals all of a sudden. Hey, where'd you go? I didn't get to throw you. Huh? Where'd it go? Is there anything over here? No? Okay. Let's head over, or let's go down into that watery pit. Imagine if I blocked all of the areas because I was throwing stuff in here. Like an idiot. <gasps> that does sound like something I would end up doing. Do you have any Pronsu arm fragments anywhere? For me? I can't see again. Hello. This thing, this is what a terminal, or a data, uh, that thing. Aurora black box. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, initiated slingshot maneuver around planet 4546B. High velocity energy, what happened to the audio? Energy pulse detected on planet surface. Emergency distress signal sent to Altera, listening buoy via long range comm relay. Impact detected. Life pod bays are st on starboard, starboard side compromised. Outgoing communications compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated. Manual piloting transferred to Captain Holster. Life pod zero to or one to twenty five launched successfully. Entering planetary atmosphere. Massive impact registered. Drive core shield compromised. Emergency bounce backs received from eight life pods on uh, planet surface. What? Bounce backs. 
Human life signs detected over long range at T plus eight hours one. I'm pretty sure that's me. I was the only one. Personal, personnel, um, unaccounted for, non-essential systems, maintenance, Chief Riley Robinson. Altera HQ rescue solution received at T plus eight hours to high priority terminal in captain's quarters. Monitoring equipment failed at T plus 13 hours. Does that mean that only eight life pods landed are like on the surface? I don't know what that means. Also, there are so many paths I can go. I don't know what to choose. You're not there. What is going on? What is this? Oh, this is just another... That's how I got in. Okay, never mind. Looks like there's only one way to go. I don't want more batteries. Stop giving me batteries. Do your thing, you magical laser diamond stealing cutter thingy. What's in here? Ooh. I can't see. <laughs> we need a thing. Do you have it? Lab access, 6483. If you need to tweak your equipment, please use the mod station in the forward section or retrieve pre-configured equipment from the lab next door to the data coil. The door code is 6483. Got it. Say no. 6483. Open sesame. Oh, it's a mess in here. Um, there's microscopes and stuff that we could take. I don't know why or for what reason, but I just want it. Ugh. Integrating new PDA data. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your repulsion new cannon blueprint, blueprint has been acquired. resynchronized. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. We need to find air. Found it. What can we learn from the hive mind of Stratter Four? Five. Four. I don't know. How are the individuals which make up a hive mind to be categorized? As are they merely dumb components of a larger intelligent organism, or is the larger mind merely a product of the independent organisms? Can it be both? We defined organisms by their traits, but find invariable. Uh, that these traits depend on those of their environment. The concept of a tadpole is meaningless without the concept of the frog it will develop into. The idea of a predator is empty without an understanding of its prey. This begs the question, if we define everything by reference to everything else, what have we actually explained? An illustrative experiment has recently was recently performed on the hive mind colony discovered on Strata 4. A device was placed outside the nest which would electrocute individuals approaching it. An ant colony would have lost many individuals before a basic danger signal was successfully communicated between them, resulting in learned avoidance of the device successfully but costly. The Strata 4 colony quickly deformed into two fra uh, factions. One attempted to move the device by brute force, sacrificing individuals as they did so. The second attempted to cover the device in sand. These two goals being mutually exclusive, a fight in ensued. The first faction was beaten. In virtue of their reduced numbers, the device was safely buried and the survivors called a truce. From the perspective of the individuals, this experience must have been horrific. From the perspective of the hive mind, a nagging problem Problem had been overcome with the most effective solution, which perspective is the correct one. We suggest that it is neither. By attempting to fit such entities into our rig rigid set of concepts, we are painting onto the world a false impression of um, concreteness and meaning, uh, which is a reflection of our concepts. 
of our concepts of ourselves. We describe strata four individuals as attacking one another, just as we describe microbes in the human body. Yet the strata colony, like the body, cannot be healthy as a whole without the aggressions of its components. We describe new nor neuron nor I know how to say that word, but mouth is not working. New new neurons neurons. There we go. In the brain as being dumb, but but brains as a whole as intelligent. But when an idea takes hold in the brain and forces out inferior, one, inferior ones, do we describe this as an act of aggression? Do we mourn dead neurons? When a philosophy or a technology takes hold in a human society, when wars are fought over them and people die, is that rightly seen as being good or evil? This is not to undermine the meaning of our existence. From where we stand, our existence is very serious indeed, but it is our civilization and our universe really any different from the colony of Strata 4? Is intelligence something limited to things of flesh and blood, or is the universe truly one giant intelligent system, and we but amoeba blowing self-important potholes in its surface? We would do well as scientists to remember that our goal is not to paint the world as we see it, but to see it as it truly is. I like that last quote. That was nice. Also, that took a lot of thinking and brain stuff. I feel like I'm missing stuff. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just being an idiot. Anyways, let's leave. There is nothing for us here anymore. I think I picked up another thing that I have to read. I fixed the, the drive core. Why is everything still falling and crashing into the water? Get up. Get up. Thank you. I appreciate your compliance with the law. Just kidding. I'm not the law. I am the Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. See, this is why we're going to have to make multiple trips. And I don't want to. But our inventory is full. Why did we have to get 500 batteries? Okay, fine. I'll just cut ahead so that you guys don't have to watch it. Unless something funny happens. <gasps> like a reaper decides to eat me. Because that's so funny. Absolutely hilarious. Oh, hey, there's a life pod. What life pod are you? Life pod six. Wasn't I looking for you? This organism is displaying signs of a bacterial infection. Bright green blisters are forming networks around the infection sites. Patho pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. Underlying indications of genetic mutation and aggressive behavior. The bacterium itself is unlike any so far recorded in human exploration. May be contagious, avoid, do not under any circumstances consume the flesh. But now I kind of really want to. Life pod six, a distress signal has been received. Yeah. Hey, I found it all on my own. I don't need nobody. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What you gonna give me? Nothing. Just garbage. Doo doo trash. Fine, we'll listen to that in a second. PDA data. Are, were there flares in all of them? And I just didn't know. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. All oh. warning. Maximum depth. Ah! All damage imminent. I'm sorry. I wanted to see what was down here. We now all know what happened to Life Pod 6. And we're back with a freshly emptied inventory. Ready to slay the rest of the day. I don't know what I'm saying. If I have to make another trip back because I end up filling up our entire inventory again, I am going to be angry. Any 
Any other special treats for me? No? Fine. Wait, what did I... <gasps> we can have fancy tables! It's what I've always wanted! Santa does listen! I kind of have to go over there. There was something I could scan. What can I scan? Some wall shelves. Okay, sure. Why not? A vending machine. This is the best day of my life. I've always wanted to have a vending machine in my room. And now my dreams can finally come true. A baked potato, coleslaw, mac and cheese, garlic bread, and a biscuit. Chicken and pork, a BBQ sliced beef, baked beans, ham and cheese, and Frontiersman discount. Oh. Today's ew. I'm not reading that. If that's just dried fruits and nuts for dessert, really. That's the worst dessert I've ever had. But I will take your calm kitty poster. Where's cabin one? We have a code for that. Cabin seven, four. A single bed. I think this is... No, this isn't where we get the double bed, is it? I don't remember. Need a blueprint acquired. Relationship contract. Integrate. Oh, I broke it. I broke the audio. Listen, I know I don't have the right oh. to make demands of you, but I, I broke the audio. There's no audio in the ship now. I want now. to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I broke I would it. Like I'm to sorry. Our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. Oh. You're dumping me. I'm changing <gasps> the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? This it's is a the shadiest business I ever heard. You have so many expectations. <gasps> I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. <gasps> it's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Wow. That was shady. Had no chill. Altera Alms pamphlet? Charity is an art an archaic concept which the realism of today's Alteras, Alterans, has rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get the most for ourselves is to work together with Altera. The implications of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Altera Alms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity because we don't ask for hands out handouts. We prefer to think of ourselves as a philanthropic philanthrop i have no clue beneficiary beneficiants <laughs> beneficiants facilitation oh my gosh service promoting synergy between employer and workforce triple or double a operates on a lottery system by investing any number of credits you will be entering into our prize draw. Larger investments yield higher chances of winning. Your credits will go towards training unskilled colonists in vital tasks such as maintenance and inter personal skills the colonists receive this training voluntarily and free of charge on condition of a minimum contract with one of our investors on com completion of their training oh, okay the audio is still broken what did i do i just opened the pda thing and it said no no that's illegal it sounds so peaceful in here without the whole fire and everything going on cabin one what was the thingy cabin one 1869 one eight six nine open sesame there's no fire in here you lucky you lucky dumpling responsible autonomous data. relationships forward by jenny Eckhart. all the good things in life are 
commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value, support, motivation, affection. Nothing good is ever free. If every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging their original supplier by changing their purchasing arrangements. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it is it is performing competitively there is always room for improvements i'm so sorry about the audio i really didn't think i was gonna break it i got what was that i got an arcade gorge toy also i oops sorry shelf you just needed a hose down with the fire extinguisher uh our inventory is almost full again and we still haven't um, gone in all of the rooms. I'm gonna be very angry about having to go back. I will be crying myself to sleep tonight. That is the only the only way that this is gonna go. Um. What don't I need? Don't shock me. It's rude to shock me. Captain's quarters can't go in there. Huh? I think that's it. Is that the whole Aurora? No, there is definitely a room that I'm missing. Can I fix the audio somehow? <laughs> it's very awkward. Just running around. With nothing going on. I am missing a room or an area or something. I just know it. Because there's another exit to the Aurora. It's not just that one entrance that we got here. There's like another one. Um, that's like a just in case entrance. And I don't know how to get there. But I will be finding it. How did I get up here in the first? This one. This area. Go away. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna fight. I won. This. Where does this lead? We're out. You can go away then. Ah! The fire extinguisher was trying to break me. Where is the. I know. This is the science area. Oh! I literally went up here too and looked right at that. Wow, I'm an idiot. I think that was all of, at least for now, I think that was all of the Aurora. Are we missing any of the dialogue? I think that's it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. We got a lot done. And by a lot done, I mean we filled our inventory twice. So I think that was a, per per <laughs> a pretty successful video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys enjoy content like this. Also, while you're down there, comment anything. I love reading your guys' comments. Tell me what you guys want me to do in Subnautica. If you guys prefer the story or if you guys also like uh, like some of the building episodes. Because I really like the building ones. But I also think that we need to get the story moving more. Because I'm kind of um, procrastinating a bit. Consider subscribing. There will be a link down in the description as well as a big red subscribe button. Below this video, you can press either one. They both do the exact same thing and it helps the channel out a ton. It just lets me know that you guys enjoy content from me. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.